Here is the Toyota Corolla. Before we get started though, let me give a quick shout out to Naya Motors Inc. for letting us use the car today to film the videos. They are a used car dealer here in Ottawa, Canada. Check out the link in description for their entire inventory. Now this child door lock feature is only for the rear doors, not on the front doors. Let's get started with the left side door. Open the door and right there there's a switch and there's also a sticker with the arrow pointing downwards. So push the switch down. Now the child door lock feature is activated. I can still open from outside. However, when I go inside and close the door, I should not be able to open it no matter what I do. And that is good. What I'm going to do for now is just scoot over to the other side and open this door because we did not activate the feature there. I can open it. And now I'll open this door. Push the switch back up to its original position. Now the feature is deactivated. I can open the door from outside. And I also should be able to open the door from inside. And yes, I can. Repeating the process on the right side door. Open the doors, push the switch down to activate the feature. I can open from outside. And let's see what happens on the inside. I should not be able to open the door now from inside. And I cannot. So that's good. But guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to go on to the other side and open the door from there. So if you've got a child in the backseat over here, make sure you activate this feature separately for both the side doors. Because otherwise the child may accidentally just scoot over to the other side and open the door and you don't want that. So for now, let's just go ahead and open up this door, get out of the car and open this door, push the switch back up, deactivate the feature, try opening from outside and let's try this from inside as well. Lock, cannot open, unlock, I should be able to open and that is good. Hope you found the video useful.